Hi there, my name is Jasmine, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make rivers um, on your sheet of paper. Now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your pencil and you're going to outline the um, a triangular shape on your paper, just like this. Now, after you do that, you need to draw a landscape. Now, when you do the landscape, you need to take your pencil and make sure it's not too dull, not too sharp, because you need to like do a light gray background. Depending on if you're doing day or night, it means whether you're going to do a light background or a dark background. I'm going to be making a ripper in the night. Now, um, my friends tell me that when I draw, I draw too heavy. Um, you don't let anybody tell you whether to draw heavy or not heavy. You can draw heavy, you can draw light, you can draw any way you want to. Um, so yeah, uh, I wish I could show you, but I don't really have a tripod yet. When I do get a tripod, I'm going to show you how to make these and how to, um, you know, draw this a little bit better. Um, one day I'm hoping to get at least 10 subscribers because I want to be able to help with my brother. After you have like a nightshade background and that triangular thing in the middle, I want you to draw a pattern inside of it. So make the pattern bigger as it goes. Um, So I'm not really doing it too light, too heavy. You still see the little pattern. Now, I'm going to make this pattern a little bit darker so that it's not so light, but still not so heavy. Because if you make it too light and if you make it too heavy, then you won't be able to see the actual artwork and the stuff that's going on around it. Now, um, I'm probably going to just cut out this part to remember to do that. Um, so, after you have, oh, that's my book first stuff. After you have this little triangular shape, the night background, and the swirls inside of it, um, you can, like, do some clear water, you can do some water with fish in it. I'm going to do some water with fish in it, so I'm going to take my pencil, do a teardrop, and then give it a skirt. Pencil, teardrop, skirt. And there you go, you got yourself a fish. Um, and I think I'm only going to do one fish and I'm going to, mm, I'm going to make it one lone fish and I'm going to color this piece after I finish my nightshade background. So, here is the finished product. Hope you guys like it. Um, I'm going to make future videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!